Hi, this is Preeti from Analytics India magazine and today's segment is my journey into data science. In this segment, we will be talking to real life data scientists, understand their transition into data science, from which educational background do they hail, are they from a technical background, are they from a non-technical background, basically understand how it all started for them. And today we'll be talking to Anurag Upadhyay, who has been a data scientist for the last five years. He comes from an electronics and communications engineering background, a non-CS basically, and he has a very interesting job profile. So let's go find out more about him. So coming to the first question that we asked him, what is your job role and what do you exactly do as a data scientist? The role includes, so you can say like uh, we curate data sets. So primarily we'll be kind of uh, looking out for data sets and uh, then we kind of do our analytics on top and we formulate them as the hackathon problem statement and then uh, further these hackathon problem statements are uh, deployed as a hackathon on machine hack so primarily i'm taking care of machine hack uh, you can say as a data scientist and as a program manager okay. and uh, it's been a uh, quite uh, you can say active uh, kind of platform for data science uh, enthusiasts for hackathons and uh, practicing machine learning problems as well so basically he curates data sets for online competitions like machine hack I think I've already mentioned this a couple of times before. For any data science aspirant, it is very important to test your knowledge by taking part in online competitions. Moving on, how long have you been a data scientist for? So, as a data scientist, it's been a journey of close to five years now. So, it was since uh, 2015, I started kind of my hands-on with uh, some kind of, uh, you can say data EDA libraries like uh, Pandas, NumPy. And uh, since then, I've started learning uh, data science and I've been practicing it. So did you get into data science right after college? No, so it wasn't uh, right after college. So right after college, it was all about a uh, usual job. So I just landed up into my on-placement uh, college profile and started as a regular uh, corporate guy. And uh, slowly it happened, like I just wanted to learn something uh, in terms of software engineering as a whole like uh, designing systems, kind of understanding them in and then out and this was something I was just like kind of seeking you can say. And... Alright, then let's talk about the transition. When and how did you make the switch to data science? Primarily when I made the switch uh, as a full-time data scientist that was in uh, I think 2016 when I started as a full-time data scientist and it was mostly based on my skills around Python however I was in a, you can say a probationary role so it was like you have to perform to stay up and uh, primarily I was like learning things there so I was doing some executions uh, with a uh, few of the senior folks kind of learning from them doing some kind of uh, open online courses like say on Coursera specifically uh, from Andrew NG myself and uh, kind of learning from them uh, then it one happened like I was able to give a full-time uh, role interview for uh, one of the customers based out of Bangalore and uh, I kind of made a, you can say, a full-time transition also from a startup to a multinational company uh, as a full-time data scientist. So I was working as a senior research engineer there, but uh, primarily my role was to uh, solve problems using machine learning and uh, kind of, uh, let's say, present a solution to the client using different approaches to the same problem statement, let's say using a deep learning approach as well as using a classical machine learning approach and um, things like that. So basically it was through networking with your client that you managed to make a switch to data science? Exactly, you can say that yes. Network. But it couldn't have been that easy. While already starting your career as a data scientist, you decided to pursue a part-time master's degree in analytics? So I was uh, doing this uh, specialization in data analytics. Uh, with the software systems masters from Bits Pilani and I was working with uh, Toshiba India Primate Limited for the research and development team. So there I was uh, kind of uh, as working as a senior research engineer and pursuing this course at the same time. What made you take up a master's degree? Yeah, so choosing masters primarily for me was uh, you can say just uh, being one of the regular folks how you can say I mean I don't have any uh, way to kind of uh, say that but uh, yeah mostly it was about uh, the kind of practice I was doing so uh, before doing my masters I was kind of pretty much hands-on with all the machine learning stuff and uh, kind of like designing solutions for various clients and uh, then it happened like this to kind of uh, have that thing uh, you can say in my degree or you can say credentials I went ahead and did a masters as a like specialization with data analytics. 
did it make the transition easier i wouldn't say like it was family for the job but yeah the kind of uh, uh, change it brought inside me was like uh, i kind of uh, started understanding the system uh, software as a system you can say as a whole uh, much better and kind of uh, as i wasn't from a uh, csc background so kind of uh, uh, kind of uh, help me to dive deeper into that uh, kind of the software engineering side of it you were working and pursuing your masters at the same time how did you find the balance how many hours a day or a week did you have to commit to it so uh, as i said like uh, when i started doing my masters uh, much of the syllabus i already understood so yeah it took me some time to kind of grab the computer science part of it so initially uh, the first year of it for me was uh, family a difficult time so i used to devote uh, kind of close to an hour or two in uh, like night basically after my office hours and uh, sometimes yeah because most of the contact classroom programs were in the weekend so i used to a yeah, kind of uh, a no weekend experience you can say for so absolutely no weekends in 2 years it was like a duration of 2 hours per class and four classes on uh, every weekend day so saturday and sunday eight classes so it was like yeah of course and then we used to get some kind of you can say evaluation components like quizzes um some kind of uh, summarizing data doing some small tricks so these things of course used to uh, keep me involved however yeah i was able to cope up with it uh, the organization you can i can say like was pretty much supportive and uh, they all also compensated for the you can say the fee structure Coming to the last question, what advice would you give to data science aspirants? So the I think the best one, I mean the best route you can say to become a data scientist is to first get hands on with uh, whatever stuff is uh, programmatically happening. So primarily, like uh, you can say, the end to end stuff is programmatically happening. So the first and first foremost step should be a kind of getting hands on with whichever language they want to kind of learn and do data sciences. and of course diving deeper into the mathematical side of the algorithms which they are learning and of course uh, keeping the you can say the practice going on because of course uh, you can say i mean learning through a program can also help but of course you have to also practice there so that is how i think anybody can uh, kind of practice and become a data scientist of course here yeah. thank you so much anurag so basically anybody who's willing to learn and practice and put in the effort does have a shot at becoming a data scientist we hope to bring these transition videos more often so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get a notification every time a new video comes on if you have any questions please leave them in the comment box below see you soon bye